As can be seen from this diagram, there are three major components. 1. The Client Program 2. Server Program 3. Linux Kernel In Step 1, the client calls getColor method on the stub.proxy. In Step 2, the proxy performs marshalling and calls mRemote.transact. In Step 3, libbinder submits transaction data to the Linux kernel via blocking IOCTL call. In Step 4, wake up from blocking IOCTL call and get transaction data is called to contact the server process. In Step 5, the get target binder object call on transact method is called on its stub. Stub performs parameter demarshalling and calls get color method. In Step 6, Stub marshals the result from the get color method into a response parcel. The stub returns the response parcel back to the Linux kernel. In step 7, the reply parcel is passed through the Linux kernel back to the client. In step 8, the response parcel arrives back at the proxy, which returns the result back to the caller of the get color method in the client app.